are still doing. I don't think there's a chance I'm going to talk to you, do you? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. General, to what extent does the U.S. use of torture undermine much of what you did in your career? Are still doing? I don't think there's a chance I'm going to talk to you, do you? I don't know. You're talking to me now. <laughs> I guess I couldn't be so laid back about it either if it was me on the waterboard. Are you a supporter of U.S. global leadership? Yes. How about the torture part? Are you a supporter of U.S. global leadership? Thank you. How about the Haditha massacre? Do you support that too? Are you a supporter of U.S. global leadership? I am. How about the, uh, well, I mean, the concept of U.S. global leadership? Oh, okay, fair enough. Thanks. Are you a supporter of the concept of U.S. global leadership? How about the Haditha massacre? Do you support that too? Are you a supporter of the U.S. global leadership concept? Yes. How about the soldiers with the U.S. soldiers with the finger collections? Are you a supporter of that too? Are you a supporter of the concept of U.S. global leadership? How about the Haditha massacre? Are you a supporter of that? Mr. Buckley, how far exactly does the Democratic Party want to go in terms of gun control in New Hampshire? Oh, how far does it want to go in terms of gun control in New Hampshire? Oh, that's a policy decision, up to the elected officials. You have a, p a position, though, don't you? General, did any man under your command ever use torture? And what's your name? Did your organization restrict reporting in that event, or were people allowed to record? If your organization is so big into diplomacy, why are three of the five pictures here of military leaders? What's your cause? Oh. oh, no, 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 I don't want to be on anything. Sorry, you came up to me, so you're on. I don't want to be playing. <laughs> he was asking me, what's your cause? <laughs> My cause is freedom. They, uh, they did not try to search me uh, while I was here, you know, even though the big ones were walking past me. Yeah, that, was a, that was a step in the right direction, or a non-step. Another thing the authorities, uh, if you want to call them that, got right uh, is they didn't try to take anybody by back entrances. That was good. That's one of the ones where it's really important, or at least more important, to have been wearing, you know, these <laughs> devices because you don't always have time to tell somebody that you're audio recording, and not everyone you record is a government official. Bye-bye. Can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. 
a true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at lrn.fm to listen or broadcast their signal. lrn.fm Feds don't want you to hear them.